Hi everyone, it's Nana's Stitching Lounge. If you want to see what I made and you want to see my knit crate, just stay tuned. Hey everyone, this is Rosie. I come to you from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and we too are in quarantine. So before we go any further, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Today is Sunday, March 22nd, and uh, for the last week, I've been actually working, trying to get my staff uh, working remotely. It's been uh, quite an event, so, but luckily, as of tomorrow, I will be working at home. Um, Nono works at home as well, and um, we've actually taken <clears throat> excuse me the opportunity to uh, start spring cleaning in our condo so um, we've been trying different pictures um, not crazy about that one I think we're gonna put the other one back up um, my son went and stayed with his dad for a week or two because he has our spare bedroom and we want to change the carpet and do some stuff in there paint and you know things that we have to do when you're quarantined but of course, uh, I joke around. I saw it on, on a meme somewhere that said, uh, us crocheters and knitters, we've been practicing for a long time to be uh, self-quarantined. <laughs> and we got a lot of yarn stashed away so that we can uh, spend a lot of time by ourselves. So, uh, okay, so what do I have today? I Oh, I do want to just say to everybody, please obey the laws. Please maintain safe distance from other people or just stay home um, we're never going to eradicate this we're never going to uh, alleviate the healthcare workers um, responsibility and workload if we keep going out and spreading the virus and all the things that i've um, heard is that you could be a carrier and not know it you don't necessarily need to have symptoms so just be very very careful and just stay home people okay so that's it for my, my public announcement for today. But let's get to the yarny thing. So I have not been on here live for a while. Um, last week I released my two-part tutorial, very, very first tutorial video on how to make Nono sweater. And um, yes, uh, it's a long video. <laughs> Obviously, it was my first. My lighting kept changing. Uh, it got really long, didn't edit it very well, but I think, I'm hoping that people got the point across. So I will um, try to do better next time. So I do have plans to do a tutorial for one of my cotton uh, tops that I sometimes wear. So that will be next. And uh, so I do um, give me some feedback on whether you've seen it, whether you're going to try it. And if you are going to make a sweater for your uh, significant other or for yourself, and I'll talk about a little bit more about that later, um, I want to see it. So come to my Facebook page, uh, Nonas Rosie Stitches, and then I do have a closed group for Nona Stitching Lounge that I can accept you. Um, and uh, show me what you made or just email me at nonastitchinglounge at gmail.com. Oh yeah, the other thing that I did want to announce, and um, most of you already know, to great disappointment, we've had to postpone Knit Stitch Fest. Um, it was to be held in a couple of weeks in Niagara Falls, April 16, 17, 18, or something like that. Um, I'm tentatively hoping that we do something either in mid-September, early October, but I don't. I can't plan anything because we don't know you know, they're talking about kids staying um, off school till September. So I don't know if we'll even be able to do uh, gather and uh, have uh, large gatherings by then. So, so that was really disappointing. I know a lot of people had uh, flights booked and uh, a lot of plans. I'm hoping that the airlines and the hotel, everybody um, is kind and gives a total refund but at the very least a credit. So it would be nice to be rescheduled again in Niagara Falls around in the fall sometime. So, um, all right, let's get to work here. I did get my knit crate and I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on that because a lot of people got it. 
Um, I did want to say though that I have paused my knit crate for the next six months because I'm just not getting to it and I have so much of this um, and I bought you know uh, quite a few and double down in some of the really nice colors and so I decided to pause the knit crate um, and then I of course I saw what the preview for April is and it's all sparkly and purple and it's beautiful but yeah I'm sticking with my decision at this point but this is the one I got. This is the Energize Me. And, um, and there it is. It looks a little more rust than it is. Um, and But it's not a true red. I'm not crazy about it, I have to say. Um, it's really, really fine. And um, not my color. I thought it would be a, a nicer red, otherwise I would have changed, I think there was a blue. Um, but um, let me see what the colors were. Oh, there was a green, uh, this rust color, and looks like a brown. Yeah, none of the colors really, um, really appealed to me anyway. So I think that was part of, I had seen these colors and I, that was part of the decision for um, stopping it for now. Um, so this, if anybody knows, it's La Brebis, La Brebis by Nick Crate, and it is 100% baby alpaca. It's, it's really soft, but it's really fine. So not sure what I'm gonna do with it. And then I got some stitch markers and some uh, needle to hide the points of uh, knitting needles. So so that's it for the knit crate. Um, yeah, not gonna do that. It's, it's $24.99 with shipping, which is not bad, but it's $24.99 American. And so with the exchange, it comes to like $34, $35 Canadian every, uh, every month. And um, I just gotta start using the ones I've got. So that's it for this little blue box. I did get some happy mail. Um, I got a really cute card from one of our friends. I know she's a friend to a lot of us on uh, in the Sierra community, Barbara Leinhard, or Len Lenhard, Leinhard, I think it's Leinhard. She lives in Puerto Rico. Um, she's just, uh, um, I guess, going back home. She's got to get her, or she had her knees injected. Yeah, so. Thank you so much, Barbara. Very, very nice of you to think of me, to send me a postcard. Um, it's of the sea turtles of the world. And uh, so that was really nice. So um, thank you, thank you so much. All right, so what have I been doing? I have a finished project. I did another brunch cardigan and I did it in uh, solid white or off-white. The yarn I used, um, well, I'll tell you before I show you, is the uh, Red Heart Soft in Off-White. Um, it's, it's really nice. It turned out really nice. It's, it's a lot like Karen Simply Soft. I think it's the Red Heart version of it. It's a four weight. Um, it calls for a size five hook, size five and a half hook, but I used a six and a half I believe or a six no I used a six for this so I've already washed it and just blocked it a little bit and uh, I actually wore it already um, still kind of cold here in Canada it kind of goes cold and hot and cold so um, yeah so already done I don't know if you can see it all but um, again um, I did a decrease. Um, I don't like the big bell sleeves, so I did a decrease almost every, I think it's every row I did too, um, except for the, um, the fillet rolls, rows, sorry. The pattern calls for one decrease on all the solid uh, double crochet rolls, rows, but um, I did two here and none on the fillet. So, and then I just did a um, I didn't do a ribbing at the bottom. Um, I just like the way it hang, uh, it hung nicely. Um, I don't know if you can see, just hot hangs. 
and it follows the pattern of six um, double crochet, three fillet, and six double crochet. So I just thought I'd leave it that way, and it follows quite nice. Um, and uh, but I did do uh, the ribbing around the collar. The other thing I do, just in case people want to know, is when I sew. So you've got it. You do the two hexagons, and then you sew them together at the back, right? So I do a um, double. Uh, sorry, a slip stitch along the seam. I don't know if you can see that. And so it sh doesn't really show um, on this side of it. But when I go to sew the shoulders, I don't have them meet at the back. I leave about this much so that when I put this on, it doesn't fall forward, if you know what I mean. It actually sits really nicely. Because if you were to join right the shoulders right there, like it kind of it pulls uh, back, and so then the front lifts versus uh, leaving some space. So anyway, hopefully that's uh, clear um, to what I'm saying. So I really I really like the solid. I did it in a Barcelona. I don't know if you remember with the blue purple green look, but I got a lot of compliments on this uh, off white. So I think I'm going to do. I have so much of um, like Karen Simply Soft and other acrylics that I could be using. Um, so anyway, it turned out really nice. I really love this pattern because um, there's minimal sewing and it just, I don't know, it really looks nice. So that's that. So um, as I was talking, I did the Nono's uh, rib sweater. And um, if you haven't seen all 16 hours of it, <laughs> Okay, it's not that long, but it's a, it's a long tutorial. Um, I did say in the video that you can make, it doesn't have to be a man's sweater, you can make it for a woman as well. So I wanted to show you that. And so I ha am using um, a lighter yarn. So I'm using the Mandela Tweed Stripes, which is a four, size four yarn. And I'm using a, it recommends a size 5.5 millimeter hook. Um, but I'm using a six and a half. So I'm using uh, a smaller yarn and a large hook and I'm making myself one. So if you can see it. And I think it's turning out quite nicely. Um, I, I'm actually following exactly the way I did it in the tutorial. So I, I'm doing it purposely to show that the same pattern, if you just use a lighter yarn or a smaller hook or a larger hook um, will actually uh, turn out quite nicely. So um, I'll show you what I've done thus far. Okay, so now I'm going to start the, the ribbing down here. And I know like for not, and I'm, I think I'm only going to do a uh, three quarter sleeve to here because I don't like long sleeve sweaters. Um, and I also am going to leave the collar uh, a lot more open. I think I'm just going to do two uh, single crochet rows and I'm going to leave it open. I'm not going to do um, the ribbing going all the way up because uh, it's too heavy. But see how it actually turned out, turns out really nice. The same, I did the exact same 10 here. Um, and uh, so, yeah, that's, that's what I've been making and I just wanted to do it and I'll show you using the exact same pattern that I've done for the tutorial. So you'll see that. And I think if I had used even, this is a, probably an extra large woman's. Um, if I used even a smaller yarn or smaller hook, you could probably get a small or a medium women. So um, I, I really like this pattern. Um, and I used, and I did exactly the same count everything that I did for the tutorial. But the, the, the shell of the sweater is in the tutorial, and um, once you do it once, you will, um, you'll find that it's, it's a great shell of a pattern to make other things uh, top down. Okay, so what else? I do have, so I ordered um, from Amazon some cute little Gunt stuffies for Easter for my grandchildren. So, um, this, oh my gosh, it's so soft. So this is the elephant. 
and I don't know if you, it's a gray, it comes up pretty true color, it's a gray. So it has the gray elephant. And then I've got a doggy for my grandson, the Gunt. And it's, I thought it was brown, but it looks kind of yellow. It's actually true to color. And then I got for the baby, this little pink bunny. So, so I want to do loveys around these um, stuffed animals. That's my plan was to do the loveys. Um, so the, the problem I have is what color do I use? So I'll tell you what I was thinking and then you guys can help me out. So this, this one is the major problem anyway. So I have this one, the gray, and I have, this is, feels like butter in gray, which is really soft. And I thought that would look really nice together, the gray and the feels like butter. Or I have the blue feels like butter, which I thought was kind of cute as well. Um, I do also have for the pink one, I don't know if, what you think of the blue for the this bunny or I only have this dark gray for this bunny not sure but I do have some Karen simply soft and pink that might work so I need your opinion oh the other thing I have I have this Karen big cake in this color that I thought might go nicely with this but it's not as soft as the feels like butter so and yeah, I don't, I'm not crazy about that with the, with the pink. All right, but there's a lot of options. So what, what do you think of this gray and blue? I'm thinking the blue for this one and maybe the gray for this one. What do you think? I think these are kind of cute. Or do you think I should stick with the pink? Okay, so... Give me your opinion down below on what I should do. But these gunts are so soft. Oh, my God. They don't really need anything, any lovey things. But, um, yeah. All right. Then my big problem is this doggy. This yellow something. I don't know what color this is. But this is for the little boy in, in um. All right. So I have a couple of ideas. I have this Heartland in this uh, beigey color. So there's that. And then I have a Heartland in a darker brownie color. So these are the two colors. I don't know, they kind of look the same right now. In the, in the, in, you know, you can see one's darker than the other. So what color would you recommend for this? I do have in my, and I want to use something in my stash. I've got, um, I've got an off-white. Oh, that might be interesting. And I have an off-white. Was that too clashy? Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to give them off-white. I have an off, yeah, off-white Burnett blanket yarn. Um, I've got orange yarn. See, I don't buy a lot of, like, I'm surprised I even have these. <laughs> anyway, or do you think this, is it just too much of a contrast, or do you like that? So give me your opinions down below, and I will be looking for those opinions. So that's all I have for you today. Um, I am now going to be quarantined at home, so I'll be doing... Well, I'll have to work at home during the week, but cut down my commuting time. Um, but uh, I have been watching a lot of, of your videos, been catching up on um, the Hat Not Hate um, that uh, Rose is doing for international people, that Crystal at Bag of Day had uh, interviewed with the Lion Brand person. Um, I didn't order from Lime Brand because even though it's cheap yarn, by the time we pay shipping here in Canada, it's not cheap at all. And 
frankly, I don't need any more yarn at this point in time. Um, so yeah, so hot hat not hate. I'll put a link down below for lime brown. What it is, I'm sure most of you already know, is you uh, make some blue hats for kids between uh, 16 inches to 20 inches wide, and you donate them to Lime Brand to support anti-bullying campaign. Um, and no wool. Um, what else have I been watching? Oh, I've been watching a, a new to me. Her name is Jen at Unchained Crochet. So. Uh, Big uh, shout out to Jen at Unchained Crochet. She um, she's a really prolific crocheter. She has uh, been doing tutorials. I love her sense of style. I love what she makes. Um, go ahead, go and watch her if you have not, because um, she uh, she's really cool. So that's my shout out for today, and um, that's it. So hopefully everybody, please stay, stay, uh, stay safe, um, follow the rules, and hopefully we can beat this sooner than later. Um, all the best to everyone, and uh, until later, I'm saying ciao for now. Mm -hmm.